Hello and welcome to Vibe TV. I'm Gemma. And I'm Scotty. And this is our brand spanking new show run by Edgehill students for the Edgehill community. Vibe TV aims to bring Edgehill students info and news and events from on and around campus. So what's been happening so far? A lot's been happening from the opening of the new art centre to live music nights in the venue. Firstly, let's talk Freshers Fair. There were societies there from Disney to volleyball. Did you know currently there are 74 societies at Edge Hill? When I was there, I took advantage of all the stores. I even got free pizza. <laughs> Our reporter Dom was on campus to investigate what was happening on the day. Hi, I'm Dom Tolly and I'm here at Edge Hill University for Vibe TV for the Edge Hill University Freshers Fair 2012. Let's go and see what they've been up to. I'm here with Elliot, who's the SU president. So what have you been up to today? Very, very busy is what I've been up to. Um, I don't know, we've been manning this SU stall, telling students about the students' union, um, and also I've been going around all the societies, all our sort of commercial partners, basically ensuring that, and all the sports teams, ensuring that everyone's okay, ensuring that it's been a good day. So just getting around the place, getting ourselves out there, basically. Uh, we play women's rugby, kind of in the name. Um, you don't have to have had any experience to come and join us. Um, Charlotte, you've never played, had you before? No, I haven't. We are more like a family than a team, really, because we spend all year together. We go to competitions. Like, we live really close to each other. Yeah. We have socials. So it's, it's a nice way to make a really close group of friends, keep active, and just do something different, because you might not be able to do it outside of university afterwards. Hi, I'm here with Jacob from the Medieval Reenactment Society. Have you got anything to say to the freshers joining this year? Um, if, you want to, if you want a really great society that it is completely out there compared to any other societies where they want to go to. We're fun, we're different, exercise, it's, oh, it's amazing. I'm here with Kelsey from Edge Hill Musical Theatre. It's opportunities for like musical directors, people who play instruments, people who do set and lighting design, so it's something for everyone really. It sounds a lot bigger than it actually is, like it's just for anyone who has like a vague interest in uh, history of any kind, if you're like just really interested in like maybe 20th century stuff, if you like the films all about it or anything, we get together, we have film nights, we have quiz nights, we go on holidays, I mean educational trips. Um, and we have lots of socials, so it is good, it's really fun. I'm here with Stephen from Vibe Media, and he's going to tell us a little bit about what they're doing. Yep, uh, so we are Vibe Media. It's Edge Hill's brand new media collaboration. Uh, the online thing is involving all the news. It's got up to date um, radio, which is uh, they broadcast 10 to 10 every single day. Uh, we've got the TV crew. We've got the magazine as well, which is all different feature articles, which is fantastic. Uh, all upon vibemedia.co. If everyone logs onto there, they can see all the up to date news, breaking news, and everything like that. Hello, this is the Doctor and this is Captain Jack. We're from the Doctor Society. If you want to come along and be joining all the fellow Duvians and sign up, have a great year and be ready for a trip of a lifetime. So, as another Edge Hill Freshers Fair comes to a close, I've been Dom Tolly for Vibe TV. Thanks for watching. Freshers Fair was all about the students starting this year, but what about prospective students starting next year? Open days offer the potential students opportunities to see what's on campus, grab free food and get a feel for their courses. They give a great opportunity to see the facilities as well as providing a sneak peek of uni life. Our reporter Lewis was on campus to interview visitors, students and staff. Hi and welcome to Vibe TV. I'm Lewis Kitchen and I'm joined today in the Hale Hall with the new and upcoming prospective recruits to Edge Hill University who are registering for their open day. Hi, I'm joined by Alex Illingworth today, our Edge Hill Student Union Vice President. So Alex, what are you hoping to get out of today? Uh, just to really talk to prospective students, show them what Edge Hill's all about, um, and specifically what the Students' Union can offer to them if they come here. And what are our prospective students going to get out of today? Um, well, it's a really good opportunity to talk to course tutors, you know, learn about the subject, how it differs from other universities, talk about the accommodation, have a look around, have a look at the beautiful campus. Um, and then sort of speak to us, find out about sports, societies, all that sort of stuff, what they can get involved in if they choose their chill. Hello Chris and Louise. Hi. Hello. Okay, what made you come and visit Edge Hill today? Um, I've been to quite a few universities and um, none of them I really liked, like, I didn't, hadn't been anywhere that I really liked and um, I wanted somewhere, I've got somewhere in mind as kind of like first choice but I wanted somewhere as like
kind of a backup, but coming here, I think, I don't know, it could be like my first choice now. I really like it. What's your hope to get out of the open day today? Um, it's really good. It's helpful. Do you think yeah. so? Yeah. Do you find the organisation quite well and uh, people getting shown around? Yeah, it's yeah. like you're in this room wherever you want to go and ask anyone you want. Yeah. 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 Is that Jill your first choice? Yeah. So you can't wait to get all excited and getting yeah. move, moving on up, yeah? Yeah. Next step, next step toward adulthood. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Don. Hi. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so what have you been doing today at Edgehill? Well, we've been showing prospective students around the campus. We've been supporting, telling them exactly what we're doing for media courses, how we support students in our media um, studio here at Edgehill, our HDTV studio. Uh, hopefully that they'll take away a good example of why we actually support students in this environment as well and the actual build and the way we've actually adopted this studio so it actually replicates what they would find in industry. So I've learned a hell of a lot today at Edge Hills Open Day and I'm looking forward to all the new students that are coming next year. My name is Lewis Kitchen, I'm here for Vibe TV and you can check us out at www.vibemedia.co. That was just one of our open days, you can look forward to more of those and more pizza throughout the year. Yes, we can, Gemma. Edge Forward Dance Company performed a recent hub opening for the Duchess of Wessex. That's wicked. <laughs> this is the official opening of the hub, a place where people can meet, eat and shop on campus. After putting in lots of effort, the hub was packed for the performance and the opening. Our reporter, Kira, met dancers from Edge Forward and Hill Start. To give Her Royal Highness the Countess of Wessex a warm welcome to Edge Hill University, Edge Forward Dance Company were invited to perform their piece Wingman in collaboration with Hill Start. The, both companies are made up with second and third year students from the university's performing arts department and I'm here with some of the dancers to ask them about their experiences. The original piece Wingman is about male uh, friendship. Our choreographer Debbie Milner wanted to create a piece that, wasn't, that didn't look at um, sexuality or, or any of the things that people look at normally. And she wanted to just look at the relationship between men. It's essentially Edge Forward already had the piece Wingman and everyone else like from Hill Star and then there was some first year dancers as well were just slotted into it so we learned some of the phrases that Edge Forward like learned for this and then it all came together really so we had like a few rehearsals over a week and to put it all together. And Alongside the choreography in itself the spacing of the hub was quite a difficult situation because there were so many of us and to put all of these people into a, such a small space and create the choreography in itself I think that was quite difficult and we had to rearrange some of the choreography and um, some duets that, that happened and a few times um, some people had to hold back on what they originally did to enhance the performance in the space. <laughs> people can say that they have performed for a member of the royal family. In, in itself it's a privilege for the university because to bring more people to the university and, and allow everyone to express what they're doing in the university and to show, showcase us as a, as a university, as the different companies who will start and edge forward and then to, to say that we've performed to a member of the royal family. So guys, if, uh, if a first year student had uh, watched your performance, looked at it and thought, wow, I really want to get involved in that, where would they go, what would they do? There is an opportunity to go to society classes, then audition and perform with the company itself in your second and third year. Guys, thank you very much for talking to us. I've been Kieran Millett, these guys have been Edge Forward and Hill Stuck and we're signing off for Vibe TV. I was there in the hub watching the opening, I'm so jealous that I didn't do dance. Oh, me too. Here in the studio we have Gareth Dowling, the Vice President of Arts and Sciences. Nice to have you on the show. Thanks for having me in. Um, Gareth has been at every cantina that we've had so far. So tell us a little bit about cantina. Yeah, well, it was a bit of a collaborative effort between the <coughs> some of the management the university, uh, the, the students' union, um, the, the bar and some of the media department lecturers. You know, we've got more students than ever before uh, living on campus and there's very little uh, opportunity given to them to socialise on campus at the weekend. So we thought, and we haven't had live bands here in an awful long time, so it's great to finally get a bit of live music back on and uh, give them something to do on a Friday night. 
Fantastic. So what's been your favourite act so far? Uh, well, I've, you know, obviously I've seen about nine or ten different acts at this stage. Uh, and while I, I like the, the majority of them, I think the Hummingbirds kind of really just stood out for me. Uh, they, they were great, you know, entertainers. The, the, the songs they played were really good. Um, they played a really long set. They played about an hour and then came back on for another 10 or 15 minutes after we kind of pushed them back on stage. Uh, and even afterwards they came down and did photographs and talking to people and everything. So Hummingbirds were definitely one of my favourite acts. They were great, yeah. Hey, carry on. The support that was really good too. Mm -hmm. Did you get, did you see them too? Yeah, I saw them as well, and it was just a, it was a great night altogether. So. My favourite, Esco Williams, actually just won an award at the Mobos. He won the Unsung Artist Award. It's great. We're just getting some, you know, some really quality acts coming onto campus now. So. Um, so why should students um, go to Cantina instead of the other events on campus? Uh, well, like I say, that you know, during the week, uh, you know, it's it's. Packed out, you know, between sports clubs, training, matches, societies, um, you know, and obviously coursework and that. So at the weekend, it's often been very, very quiet. So it's nice to finally uh, give the on-campus students something to actually do at the weekend without having to go too far. Um, you know, there's not a lot of effort. You just have to walk down. You know, uh, it's quite cheap in general. Um, and, and like I say, the acts are <coughs> of real quality. Yeah. Um, and as you say, award-winning acts coming in, uh, and we're seeing some of these Liverpool bands. You know coming onto the scene, getting onto Radio City and that, and possibly these could be the acts of the future. So what is the future for Cantina? Well, I, it was all kind of, you know, thrown together in September there to make sure that we had something to offer. Uh, and given the, the, the success and the take-up that students have had of Cantina, it looks like, you know, we should completely roll this out uh, and keep going with it. Um, the next step, I think, is looking at this Battle of, Battle of the Bands concept, which is coming up in a couple of weeks' time, um, where we're looking at you doing a Battle of the Bands in the venue to see what student bands will be able to get their own gigs or supporting acts for the, you know, the, the Liverpool bands. Um, and th so, if there's any you know aspiring bands out there or any individuals that are members of bands, if they want to come into Students Union, leave their details uh, and a disc, uh, they're more than welcome to be considered. Did you heard that bands? If you've got a band, students union, go go. Don't be scared. <laughs> if you want to see great live music from metal to R&B, come to the venue at Edge Hill every Friday night. Tickets just cost two pounds with your student card. So thanks for chatting with us, Gareth. Very much. As well as the opening of the student hub, Edge Hill has also been celebrating the opening of the new art centre. An exciting lineup of acts playing in the Rose and Theatre studios, including student and professional performances. Kyla Lagrange came to the university to perform a new album, Ashes. Kyla's song, Walk Through Walls, is also featured in Edge Hill University's new promo video. I met up with Kyla to talk to her about Ashes. Hi, I'm Gemma for Vibe TV. I'm here with Kyla Lagrange, who's opening the brand new art centre at Edge Hill Uni. So, how would you describe your band's genre? Uh, it's a bit of a mixture. Uh, I think there's it starts out with a lot of folk and then it, there's a lot of rock and indie and pop influences so yeah it's all, all jumbled up together. So when did you first start singing? Uh, I don't really remember, I did it ever since I was little. I think I just always liked, I used to just hide behind the curtains when my parents had friends around and sing so they couldn't see me. I never liked being watched, even now. <laughs> Where would you most like to perform anywhere in the world? I've always wanted to perform in a cave because lots of my lots of my songs are very reverby, um, and I always thought it'd be nice to do like an acapella gig in a cave. Have you got maybe a hidden talent or a party trick? Yeah, I do. I haven't done it for years though, so I don't know if I can still do it. But I can make a sound like a monkey, <laughs> but like really like a monkey. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kyla. I've been Gemma for Vibe TV, and that was Kyla Lagrange. So we just saw Kyla Lagrange at the Arts Centre, but not everything we do is on campus. Vibe TV went to Camp and Furnace in Liverpool to see Edge Hill tutor Mark Edwards perform as Gale Force in Council House Movie Star. Kieran's got the report.
taken from theatre performance, contemporary dance, and I write for performance. I had very specific ideas of what I wanted in the film, and I wouldn't compromise on that, yeah. because that had to be the very strict narrative of this. So Gail, what made you want to turn your story into this installation? I was interested in looking at performativity, autobiography, and performing autoethnography. And I was wanting to bring my past and my childhood uh, back, uh, relive it, resurrect it, like resuscitate it, whatever you want. And I just, um, I was quite persistent, I had integrity, I had this vision, and I wanted an exhibition installation that was immersive, but not interactive. A shoot might be uncomfortable for people, and it might be a bit intimidating for them to walk into this house and see these characters from everyday activity living. Uh, and, I'm, and it's more about happening rather than performance. You know, it's been great working with Gary. I think it's fantastic that we've got this right in the Northwest, in Liverpool, that uh, celebrates queer, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, uh, performance, mm -hmm. art, and it brings that together with all the diverse practitioners that are out there. Yeah. And I think it's fantastic, you know, that we have that and are very privileged to have been part of it this year. So we may see a stage version of this in a few you years. You may see a stage version of it next year. I'm gonna be going uh, around Europe in a second and funeral heart with Krista Bray, uh, the death of drag. I'm travelling all the way to Berlin. Berlin? Yeah, the roots of cabaret. Uh, and restaging acts or routines or terms, I love that word. <laughs> routine. I've been Kieran Millett, she's been Gail Force, and we're, we're signing, signing off for Vibe Media. Media. So that was Homotopia, our final report for the October show. Finally, we have an exciting competition to announce. At the end of every Vibe TV broadcast, you have the opportunity to take part in our 168 hour competition. You have a week to film, edit and submit a short film, around five minutes long. The theme for this episode's competition is Christmas. The deadline for your submissions is 2pm on Wednesday the 22nd November by emailing vibetv168 at vibemedia.co. The best entry will win a prize and be featured on the next show. Good luck and we look forward to seeing your entries. This has been Vibe TV's first ever show. We hope you've enjoyed it. On the next show we'll have a round of what's been happening on campus over November and December including a Beatles and Queen tribute act, as well as much, much more. I'm Scotty. And I'm Gemma. And, and we, we have been, been Vibe, Vibe TV. TV.